Frederick Dodson here. I practice changing my frequency on a regular basis. One of the ways to change your frequency is by changing the accent a wee bit. Of course the Scottish accent you hear me speaking here is far from perfect. Natives are gonna say it sounds ridiculous, but that does not matter to me. What matters is that with every frequency change, my mind and emotion gain flexibility. If you're having a problem changing your mood, it's cause you're the same person all the time. Same in body language, same in voice, same in accent, same in thought. But that's precisely the reason the same things happen to you every day. What all y'all need to comprehend is that you can't attract into your life any different if you ain't going to change that frequency of yours. If every day looks just about the same, you require a shift in your attention. So all y'all can kind of tell I ain't too familiar with these accents. But I sure ain't embarrassed to give them my best shot. Quite frankly, embarrassment is one of the reasons people won't attempt to change. Whether it's their accent or their energy in general, they think they gotta be perfect before they try. Problem is, that sense of shame is gonna prevent you from learning anything new because you expect to be perfect from the onset. But my awkward performance here don't mean a dang thing. I never been to Scotland, and I never spent much time in southern states, so I don't expect my imitation to be polished. You see, one of the main keys to success in life is losing that sense of shame for mistakes. If you intend to do better, or no harm's done. One of the most important aspects of changing your frequency is that it takes less effort than you think. I did not go out and study each of these accents and check on each word's pronunciation and intonation and look for specialized words for each accent. What I did instead was enter the vibe into the energy field, imitate the general mentality or tone of a region. The accent may not be set perfect, but later I can go into detail and refine each accent if I wish. This demonstrates one of the great secrets of faster success in life, which is to identify with a general energy field rather than having to learn every detail separately. Being comes before doing. Doing is merely for the refinement of an already existing beingness. And just in case you wondered what kind of accent this is, it's supposed to be the Austrian one. Likewise, when you imitate people's success, you don't go imitate the effect, you imitate the cause. It's not all about the external symbols of success, but the inner energy field, stupid. Instead of seeking that god-awful, ugly, luxury handbag, you go for the beingness of the person that's attracting the success in the first place. In applying the Law of Attraction, matching your energy vibration is more important than knowledge, more important than work, more important than your connections, more valid than circumstances, past experiences and technical details. 
And now back to my normal voice and normal accent. The purpose of this presentation was to demonstrate that in order to create a new vibration and thereby attract a new reality, you have to get to the essence of what it is you'd like to create. If you can get to the very essence and imitate that as best you can, become that already as best you can, you're going to succeed much more quickly, no matter what it is you do. I only use the example of linguistic accents, but this applies to anything, any job, anything you'd like to manifest. It is a matter of focus and finding the corresponding energy to that which you want to create in your life. All of these accents were manifested without much study just required a little bit of observation in uh, real life followed by a mimicry, an imitation. But if you try to get every detail and imitate the externals, that's not it. Then you don't get what energy is. That's why if you want to be a good piano player or if you want to be a good soccer player or if you want to be a good dancer, or if you want to be a good lawyer, or if you want to be a good cook, um, you learn the most quickly, frankly, by looking at the very, very, very best in that field a lot, and feeling them, feeling these people, observing them, and getting to the essence of who they're being. Not necessarily only their actions and what you see on the outside, but the inner attitudes, the mentality, the beliefs, the emotions, simply the frequency. In the energy, that's where the magic is. My name is Fred Dotson. Have a nice day.